Are you still here?
we're going to do some stuff from a number of these. Obviously not all of them, because it takes hours to do most of these arrangements. I have done a lot ahead of time for you, because the rent goes up on these seats after the first day or two. So we're going to do, um, we're going to do some stuff from general works, computer, not computer science, but libraries are included in that, uh, philosophy and psychology. We're going to hit uh, some technology, some pure science, which is 500. And uh, then we'll finish up with um, some just random stuff for fun. This is a picture of uh, a book exhibit that happened in Prague a couple of years ago. And what a wonderful um, and strange thing to have to walk through. People's ideas about books are changing because of this, because of our computers. You have access to books online through um, all different kinds of, of, of access. And uh, less and less, I think uh, there's less and less actual use of a hard copy um, book. So then, looking at how books have been used, and relating it to a little bit about what I'm going to do today. This is a very old book from the 1500s. It's an anatomical book. You see how it has little cut out pieces in it? Very ancient, um, very ancient book. You're going to see some repetition of that and some other things. This is a much more modern thing. A little garden that somebody has um, cut out of the pages of this book. These are the illustrations. And they've reassembled them like a landscape. This is another way of dealing with a, a book. Um, they, they've made little pieces of furniture, made a little scene. This artist is using books as a canvas, stacking them on the wall and then painting them. And to huge works like murals, but still books, right? But see how it's being used as a medium itself, not as uh, you know, each book having it, its own story to tell. Very interesting stuff. This is a little more organized. Can you see the carving that they've done through the covers of these books? And made a little lighthouse scene. And uh, again. This is a book tower. This is back in Prague again. I'm showing these to you for a reason. The reason is that I'm going to be tearing into books. I'm going to be drilling them and doing other things with them. And I'd rather get the terror over with now. Isn't that interesting? Emma Lloyd is one of the book artists. These are books. They look like rocks, but they've been carved and reconstituted. There are books in these rocks. Can you find them? In fact, um, here's my, you see this book right here? You see this book here? Here's another one. Here's another one. This is a book. Very interesting, isn't it? These are piece, these are magazines and pieces of books rolled up. This is a book that's been retreated and uh, painted. Another woman artist. This is a book that has been um, cast into resin. And these Right, I mean, you see flower shapes and maybe sea form shapes that you wouldn't have recognized for those books that are just sitting on your library shelves. And how like fungus this looks. Like driftwood or something. Isn't it? These are very recognizable as books, but the book has been cut in pieces and reassemble for this gradient type design. And this again, almost like, well, I can't decide if it's a keyboard or uh, the center of a tree. But you can see the pages. And again, you know, I suppose these would have otherwise ended up in landfills. 
And here again is another scene, like a vignette, cut through this old book. And this is a recreation of uh, what looks like something you might see in India or China, a Buddha shrine, a whole set of uh, like encyclopedias. So people are doing all kinds of things 